We are fucking ready! We are fucking ready! Let's fucking go! We fucking ready. First question is. This is episode. <laughs> look. Operation Cyclone. <laughs> Oh, episode, look, episode infinity in this bitch. Episode this is episode five of the psych five. show. This is episode thirty four. <laughs> Tonight, episode five. Thirty four. Thirty four. Thirty four. Thirty four. We so, got Taj King, Thousand Band Fani, Fani Figueroa. Yay! 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 Yeah. What the fuck is that? What? Yeah. All right, we here, episode five of the Psych Show, and I'm proudly announcing. Well, hold on, wait, wait, am I lip shit? Wait, am I ashy? I'm good. You ashy as hell. It cold. It cold. <laughs> How do you feel? Depressed. Yeah, this yeah. You know, you know how it is with politics and fans and some people. Yeah. People want me to fall out. People want my. You know. I mean, I actually do that. Fans. That's all. Like, how do you stay in touch with yourself? I'm gonna be honest. That was that was my favorite question from because it's just reality. Shut the thousand man phone. This is the first episode sponsored by Go Supply. So shout Woo! out to my bro. Let's get it. Shout out Go Supply. Yeah. Shout out Go Cap. Shout out Go Supply. It's from Go Supply. Oh, we that pink hoodie that you've been wearing. Oh, you know, shut up. Yeah. Yeah. Good sweater. And then this will be the last nigga to wear. It's a good sweater. It's like tea. And then the good cycling tea. Look. Good cycling tea. Oh, that's just good news. Yes, sir. Don't care. You yes, shout out Ghost Bro. Good oh, Cyclone. Yeah. Team. Shout out uh, Cyclone. Oh, yeah. Which game yeah. You already know what the fuck going on. Most even be broke. Okay, yeah. period. You did? <laughs> Alright, let's start with the first question. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. 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 Go ahead. Don't make it dramatic. Don't. Go ahead. Let's go, bro. <laughs> Alright, so I know you personally. I've known too. this man for 12 fucking years! I've been too. 12 fucking years! So I can skip past all the bullshit. No, get to me. He told me to smell the beans. He said, ask whatever the fuck I want. Oh! With the first one. Oh. <laughs> oh! We so dramatic, though. Oh, 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 some tea, huh? Yes, sir. My tea's my favorite. Alright, so my, my first question is. What are some of your biggest regrets that you've come across since being Thousand Band Funny? Regrets? Yeah, any regrets? Regrets. I don't regret shit. Okay. Nah, that's a lot. I you too, sir. Everybody got regrets. I, 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 put, I, I, I put trust with certain people. Like, trust is the first form of currency. Where? <laughs> and that's money. <laughs> and that's time. I wasted a lot of money and time giving trust and loyalty to the people who ain't come through for me, but I always come through for them. So, you know, it was an error, but it was a lesson, so that's what it is. But I don't, I don't dwell in the past. It's one question, though. <laughs> Second question. All right, so in the past few months, we Gucci, we straight. We great, right, 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 right. But in the past few months, you had a period where like a lot of people online was talking shit about you, like waiting for you to like fall off or like saying like, oh, funny falling off, funny on drugs, funny hairline, this and that, talking about your hairline and shit. How does like, how do you keep in touch with your star player through all of that? Like, how did like how did you feel through all of that? Lately, I haven't been seeing like crazy negative comments, but I will say like around like I want to say maybe like June, July, motherfuckers started like going crazy with like just negative ass comments and shit, trying to say you fell off and all that. Well, them niggas were never wrong to begin with. So basically, what's going on is I ain't really got time to dwell on what niggas got going on. Everybody got. Ice, opinions and all that. This, that, the third. Yeah. You know, haters gonna hate. Niggas gonna debate. 
Let them do what they do. I'm keep making moves. I'm iced out, fucking these hoes, getting money, getting dope. Keep you need to be mad as hell. Yeah. Let them kill their sex with a rope. No. For the most part. <laughs> I mean, these niggas just got so much time to worry about me. I mean, I don't know if I completely agree with it, but I'll say there's no such thing as bad publicity. It's just niggas, ride, my niggas be riding my dick. Bitches be riding my dick. So when you first started, like, getting, like, famous and shit like wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. Like, yeah, when you first start hearing, my fucking voice. <laughs> <bro. laughs> but nah, look, when you first started getting famous and shit like that, like when you're, whenever you would see like negative comments and shit, how would you feel about it? Like, yeah, like would you, you know what I'm saying? You see, you know what kind of person I am. You told me plenty of times before, like, yo, Trav, stop reacting to everything. You feel me? Oh, like, bro, like, you're being too nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you gotta relax being so fucking nice to everybody. Wait, well, yeah, he's gonna say that all the time. No, I ain't told his ass. too fucking nice. Wait, wait. I ain't. Yeah, you're second animal? Nice yes, guy. bro. He ain't being too fucking nice. Yeah, I mean, you feel me? If you're second animal, you can put him on good. He's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, times, yeah. Times, yeah. Catch my phone. Every time when yeah. my boy Trav be too nice, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, what's the I mean, I'm guilty of that. I mean, the question is, well, I had already asked you the second question. But then I asked you back off of that, like, was you always like that? Where you was just kind of like, fuck it, I don't really give a fuck what the fuck these niggas talking about? Or would you really, like, have your moments, like, as an artist, you know what I'm saying? Where you literally, like, certain shit would make you feel away. Because every, I mean, in my, in my opinion, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not emotionally immortal. I'm a human fucking being. A lot of people say I'm too fucking sensitive. But I don't got no fucking problem with admitting that. Like, I could be sensitive to certain shit. I feel like so that's what I was more so asking. You feel me? I already know what I signed up for. I know what the game gonna do to you. Look, yeah. I ain't got time to goddamn react to all these fuck things. Most of these niggas be fans. They just wanna hate. Then they wanna shake your hand. Mm. Same with bitches. Motherfuckers wanna be around just to be around. Make you pay for everything. Can't put in goddamn leeching, snaking. I mean, it is what it is, but I got a tunnel vision. I got a dream. I'm not a failure. I mean, I don't fail. I probably keep failing, but I'm not a failure. I don't fail on my ass plenty of times, but I ain't stay down. I kept getting back up, and I'm gonna keep getting back up. And I'm gonna stay up, cause once it's up, and it's done. So fuck these niggas. They broke as fuck. The way I see it is, niggas just they, you know, they infatuated with me. People want you to fall. People want you to fail because. It lies as misery, and misery loves company, and I don't keep that company. Oh, wow. Real shit, look, you heard it first. Thanks. All right, so my next question. When you came back from L.A. last year, right? That was like around like maybe like February, March. <laughs> you know, the cab over there knocked out. Put the camera on camera. Capo! 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 I know you need your beauty room. Capo! Yeah, oh, I, just, I just don't want them getting snoring and shit. That's all. Alright, so now last year you got back you got back from LA around like February, March and shit like that. And like <coughs> we was like kicking it and shit like that. It's not corona, it's not COVID. We was kicking it and shit like that. And fucking at some point. I didn't know that you had went through like a, you know what I'm saying, the overdose shit in Cali. Yeah, so like, I wanted to know like, what was your experience like through that near-death experience? Like, what did you see here? Do you, can you recall anything from that night? Like, you know what I'm saying? It was daytime then when they said I was legally dead. I woke up, it was pitch black. Basically, heaven and hell, whatever y'all think that is, no, everything just goes black. It's just black. I just my took a blanket over my face and shit. It's just black. Throwing up. And still to this day, damn, can you shoot up? I'm asking. <laughs> like, can, can I get my bonnet cross? You broke up. Like, next thing you know, you broke up. Like, you broke up. Like, you broke up. Like, you broke up. Like, next thing you know, you broke up. First off, all I can really say about that is, 
that's way easier than living. Like shit. Sometimes I wish I would have died that day and keep continuing with this shit. But clearly, I guess I got a purpose in life or some shit. But that shit is way like shh. I would have got down the way this shit go. Between the goddamn being sued, allegations, bullshit, all this life living shit. It's beautiful, but at the same time, that was easy. This living shit, hard, but hey, I get through it. So it's about. I feel like a lot of your fans miss the era of you, Playboy Cardi, and Uno being tight. And like, often wonder where y'all friendships is at and shit like that. So like, obviously, I don't know. But like, with you and Uno, <laughs> but with you and Uno like, how, how often do y'all talk and shit? I talked to Uno like two days ago. He finna be in next week. He finna go on tour with Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> It's Tokyo, yo, man. You probably Tokyo? Nah, I'm like, Tokyo. Tokyo. Like, like, nigga, we've been Uber everywhere, like, big so, like, SUG. That is the biggest song. I know that nigga, man. Yeah, Uber. DM me, like, three weeks ago trying this song. Oh, God. Yeah. It's all good. I feel it. Did you not fuck with Tokyo the hell? I'm just asking. Did you fuck with Tokyo? That's all. Look, but the whole situation with this boy and shit is. I fuck with Tokyo. I, I you know what? This shit with Shut the fuck up. God damn it. We get it. Tokyo, I look funny. 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 Tokyo, I look I know what I signed up for. Yeah. I know that you want to inspire me to even want to do this shit and go all the way. You gave me confidence to even want to do this shit. I know what I signed up for. I know how this shit is going to end. It's very romantic because I love art. I love the way I create. What you think? is like a dark, twisted fantasy type create. shit? And it's a beautiful life, but it's gonna end tragedy. <laughs> this is the first interview where there's many people in my grave. Anybody who's got a question, just tell them to come to the hot seat. Yeah, 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 you can come up here. I mean, if you don't want to do it, like. Anybody got questions? Don't nobody got any questions? I only have one. I got more questions, so we can keep moving on, but like, this shit is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I okay. have one question. Oh, I know all these niggas got questions. All right, so look, I've had people come up to me and ask me shit, like whenever I'm wearing like my TTB sweater and shit like that, and they'll ask me shit about like the moon and the star and shit, and they'll always backtrack the gang shit. You know, I always get tracked and labeled with gang shit anyway because of my face tattoos. It's been like that for a long time. Cause I got a moon on my face. I was in the hospital and the motherfucker definitely told me like, hey, no, no, no. I was like, what? Oh, I didn't fucking know. But like, what is this? <laughs> How was it? You did cut that nigga in the neck. Yeah, yeah wait. That's how you know. You know what? I'm just saying that for another story time. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, cut that. Cut that real quick. I got, I got a big heart, and that's always gonna fuck me up, and it's always fuck me over. But I'm not gonna let that. I'm never going to let that be my downfall. Your downfall, I don't yeah. Fuck. I don't care if I got a big heart. I don't care if I care about people more than they care about me. If my morals and my principles are that, and it will kill me, and it leads me to my grave, at least I won't roll over it. I know that I'm me, and that's what I did. And I care about my family and my friends and my brothers and my sisters and my love. So fuck it. Hello. 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 I love you. The chimes are outside. Y'all gonna chime? Sound beautiful, don't you? Shh, shh, shh. Listen, wait. Shh, shh, shh. 
Shut up. Stop. Fucking stop. Let's go. All right, okay, we got 88. Yeah, no, I feel like, I feel like everybody enjoying this for the most part. Y'all, like, y'all having a good time, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, so yeah, no, so like, with the, with the TTV logo and everything like that, can you give like, uh, like, like, can you explain the meaning behind like, the symbol, like the symbol, you know what I'm saying? The symbolism of it? Blue Sufu. Pegasus. Yin Yang. All right, look. Where? There it goes. <laughs> Somebody else sitting out of the seat. Yeah, if anybody would like to come sit up here. Hey, Ashley. You know what I'm saying? Feel free. Ashley, put that nigga out of the leash real quick. <laughs> 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 you know she with her pants. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Sean. <laughs> <laughs> what it is, you good? Yeah, yeah. I know, Sean don't need no weed. <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> that nigga about a patrol. Sean. <laughs> Alright, so we gonna move on. No Patron. No, no, yeah. no Oh yeah, now nah, we back on it. We are, we are fucking, fucking, back. Back. fucking back. back. Right? Alright, if you had to film a sex scene for a movie in the early 2000s, who would you prefer for it to be with? Out of these four... What are options? Holly Berry, A. Yes, yes, B, Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> C, Vivica Fox. Or D, Nia Long. No, no, I choose a Bella Danger. Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez. Just because oh, you want to scissor her. She did look the same since she was 20. Okay, if I had to choose between all of them, Nia Long way, but I want to fuck her. Like, I don't, like, nigga. <laughs> I want to fuck her for my stars. We was on tour. <laughs> What was we saying? Man, it don't matter. What is that? Six that's like. Oh, shit. 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 No, no, in the no, early no, 2000s, no, no, no. what movies did she play in in like 2002? Because I was like, they like 2002. Like, who was really like the like baddest like actress in 2002? No, who that Spanish bitch who on um home? It, no, 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 she back too. The Spanish bitch uh, who on uh, home, like home development? What's it called? Oh, I forgot her so name. So we get her or some shit. Yes, oh yeah, yeah. that's yeah. so, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that one, that all in there. I'll shoot the club over there, dude. You heard it here first. He'll shoot the club up for that bitch. All right, look. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but hey, shut up, Sienna Dream. That's a hero. Yeah, that's a fun story. <laughs> that's in that name. Man. Yeah, we want to. All right, look, the music video yeah, for him, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> the music video for which the words dropped in what year? A, 2005, B, 2016, C, 2017, or D, 2018. We gonna trip right now, nigga. I was high as hell, probably 2017. <laughs> By the way, Please stop playing Wish the Worst when you're around me. <laughs> Damn, you shit right here, bro. Like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Listen to some new shit. Run <laughs> 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 gorgeous, bro. Bitch. That was a fine so, song, but, though. No, it's fire. It's gorgeous fire. is fine. Guess what? I got new shit. Right yeah, now. but like... I used to listen to you when I was getting a goddamn mini scoop, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you no fucking compliment. <laughs> Damn, bro, back in the day. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Oh. What up? Hey, uh, what up? Hey, uh, what up? Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, what is she called? The fuck? I just the eloquent. <laughs> oh shit. Alright. Out of the four people, which of these dead celebrities do you think you vibe the most with at a party? Alright, who are the options? A. 
Rick James. B, Hugh Hefner. C, Winnie Houston. Or D, Kirk Cobain. I select E for all the above. <laughs> That's gonna be hilarious. That's really the answer I was looking for it too. I was like, he gotta say all that. That's one for the books. That's one for the books. All right. Come on, remember New Year's? <laughs> <laughs> you you wanna give a shout out to any teachers in high school that used to give you a hard time? Uh, no. Uh, shout out Miss Bushman, my uh, literature teacher. Uh, she helped me write better better ways. <laughs> Always was teasing niggas. She was married, but I swear to God, like, <laughs> bending over the desk and she, type shit. Got them. I'm in the locker trying to get my books out or whatever. She talking about. Make sure you write your essay. Stupid ass. Putting them circle, them red circle line marks around. Them. This could be bad. You need to see me after class. So I did. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Nothing. This is a, <laughs> so Was this at Norcross? Hell yeah. yeah. You remember Miss Graves, right? Yeah, no, she was fucking niggas though. Yeah. <laughs> she got, she had to resign because she was fucking, she was, she was fucking an athlete. But she gave the vibe, I was like, yo, this bitch is like. Nah, the video, she did the bitch coming on the video. Like, you, 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 you remember J. Cole? You remember J. Cole? J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He played for like uh, Tennessee. Yeah. Nigga funny as hell. I don't know if he fucked her, but I do remember yeah, that she was she fucking like. Yeah, she students. was definitely fucking athletes. Like she had hips. Yeah. And then right. she'll turn around and you'll expect some ass and you'll be But her ass was flat, but she had hips and thighs. Yeah, so it was all, it was like. But she, but you can just tell like she wanted it. Like, you can it see the potential, but it's like, if she, it was if she got a baby girl, if she got the baby girl, like, it'd be over. Oh, yeah, no, nah, yeah. It's done. Yeah, no, nah, her hips is good. But no, the teacher I wanted to fuck was Mary, and the teacher who was fucking was scary. All right, so we gonna move on. You can take a pick of Yeah, get, get, your, get your sleep, bro. And fucking, um, I'm gonna say, I ain't slave, I'm gonna tell my hey, what you just. You said what? We, we doing a song, well. You said who? Me and you doing the song, well. I love you, bit, bro. I, I love you too, G. I'm gonna I'm see you, I'm gonna see you in a. You sound like a baby. Just shut the fuck up, bitch. Like, I'm gonna see you. <laughs> funny as fuck. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's all Alright, Alright, so we gonna move on. Innocent or guilty? You, you ready? You good? You're funny. Where are we going after this? Are we going anywhere after the end? I plead the film. Innocent or guilty on what? What I do? Wait, this is the Have bad you ever? <laughs> Wait, what's the question? What'd you say? <laughs> and all the other niggas hold. Look. Have you ever convinced a girl to get an abortion? Innocent or guilty? Guilty. If you don't take this plan B, then it plan C. <laughs> no, no, I was I, like, I care about my kids so much, I don't have them because it's a little bit evil. And um, all I'm saying is, you know, don't get me wrong, I love the girl, but it's like, yo, I'm not ready and it's not the right time. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, I could. You know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, damn. It's definitely better when the feeling is mutual, like, even she's just like, yeah, yeah, nah, but, uh, it's I mean, it's like, it was like on and off with the mutual. It was like mutual the first two times, but the third time. What? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, boy, I was in that clinic. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> cried over a breakup, innocent or guilty? Wait, what? Have you ever cried over a breakup? Like, has anybody ever broken your heart? And it just got to the point where you just fucking cry. 
That's why I got the good portion. I, I didn't even listen. I, I, I don't know. What do you say? <laughs> I definitely <laughs> cried over a bitch before. I'm not gonna lie. I was like 16. <laughs> Only bitch I ever yeah. cried about. No, I'm not gonna say that. Only woman <laughs> I ever cried over was my mother. Oh yeah. Well, Bitches. Fuck. Fuck. I, I, the first love of my life that she did fuck me up. That's why them kids got to hold Let me still use my Netflix gun. <laughs> Have you ever had sex with one of your girlfriend, with one of your girlfriend's relatives, family members? <laughs> Hold up. I had sex with one of my one of girlfriend. your girlfriends, like family members, relatives, yeah, yeah, well, I mean, sister, mom. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fuck a pandemic. Innocent or guilty? I believe the fifth. Took a shit at work. Uh, I, I mean, I be shitting on niggas everywhere when I work, so, I mean, get the plumber. Next question. <laughs> Innocent or guilty? Been attracted to someone more than 20 years older than you. Stop yeah. looking at me. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bad bitches who shh, old it. Fifty five. No. What's the mature bitches? Who are you fucking forty? Bitches with about that brand. No, Whoa. seriously. Yeah. Grown bitches. First off, they don't need you have one. Yeah, don't worry about it. That's my business. I want to know. I'm asking. Are you the question. Hey, can I got down and answer? You got answer quick enough. You know what, you won't do the interview? I can't, but go ahead. You know what, after your no. questions, let, let her go on the stage. <laughs> Hell, yeah, because they more, they more mature, they know what they want. They always you know what like older women in? Yeah, yeah, older women, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, young bitches, like, they be bad, but they be broke. And if they ain't broke, they a joke. Or they do some goofy shit. Or they too sensitive. Or they got daddy issues like the rest of the world. And don't know how to deal with it. Like, bitch, I'm a bastard, but I don't goddamn dwell in that shit. I just come up. They want you to come down. Yeah. And come in. And then make it a problem. Then come back around. Say it's your fault. Fly out. I ain't fly out. She just in my town. Hey, hey, relate the beat. <laughs> Next question. Innocent or guilty? Probably guilty. Been filmed by someone else during sex. Been what? Filmed. Like, Hi. have you ever been in the middle of having sex and somebody else in the room started recording it? Well, yeah, of course. I'm pretty sure you would. But, like, no one else has just been like, all right, we getting this. <laughs> I mean, now, I'm, I'm, like, like <laughs> I still got the footage. <laughs> cool. But, it, you know, like, that's like a risk, cause I sent it to her too. And I was like, if this bitch get mad at it, upset at me, she won't post it. But at the end of the day, it's like she won't post it, cause if you think I got something to lose from fucking you, you got more to lose from posting it. <laughs> Fuck. And then you know how the whole goddamn OnlyFans shit is. Like, I got bitches who told me they want me to be a stunt bitch. Yeah, have you? Yeah, I'm about to say, have you considered doing OnlyFans or any kind of explicit work? You wouldn't do any yeah, like, I mean, sex work? Porn, like, you know what I'm saying? Porn is a billion dollar industry. Like, everybody loves sex. Everybody yeah. fucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody got weird fetishes, this, that, and the third. Kings. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. Like, I ain't gonna act like. 
I ain't human, hell y'all love fuck. So if you did make any explicit content or did any sex work, what kind of films would you record? Like what would like what would you like like kinky like, shit like, like bitches would like masquerade mask on or like uh anime bitches with the titties up. <laughs> like uh, one of my friends, hey, shout out to my bit homie uh goddamn <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> When we was on tour, Vi hey, shout out to Violet. Hey, no, Violet, she got she she got artistic expression. I'll fuck with her, cause she she creative. Hey, shout out to Violet. 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 Violet, Violet Myers, yeah, 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 she yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she sure. cool as hell. Yeah. We got a lot in common. Yeah, yeah. Like, not even, I'm not even on no just sex shit. Yeah. It's on some. Yeah, nah. We, we no, actually got shit in common. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, not nah, that. And she, she like, like, she not like a broke bitch. You feel me? She get her guap. Nah, I'm about she to say, I know her. I know her only fans gotta go crazy. I mean, she definitely. I mean, like, even I didn't see her on porn star ads her. before I even knew she was. Yeah, yeah, was like, even to this day, if you go on porn, on ads, X video, whatever you go, yeah, she in the ad. But regardless of all that, yeah. You feel me? We both in the entertainment industry, but yeah, yeah. she she got a good heart. Yeah, you know, yeah. she we was on tour, she looked out for me. Yeah. My niggas fucked yeah, up. Yeah, Shout nah, out nah, yellow. Yeah, yeah. Um but I mean <laughs> you know, but she looked out. No fuck like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even to this day she still look out. Yeah, know? nah, for sure. Like we pulled up to her crib, yeah. like maybe like six of us and shit, like I'll walk in, I'm like, oh, what up? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, she offering drinks and food, you feel me, snacks. Shaw, yellow, like, red, and shit, like, <laughs> like, grown ass thing, and all that. This bitch low. Yeah, it's it's all good, good. though. Mm -hmm. This is actually the last question right here. Yeah, 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 I definitely got to charge this bitch. Boom! <laughs> Shakalaga. <laughs> Innocent <laughs> or guilty? <laughs> Featured on a song that you didn't like because of the money. First off, fuck Hood Rap because he got in a song that I love and he decided to just put his verse on it and that nigga owe me money. And second of all, I get on features. First off, I just love making music. A lot of niggas I should be taxing. A lot of niggas I should really be taxing. I got, I got niggas get mad at me because I'll do a song with them and they'll be like, yeah. Oh, we're posted. Let's do a video. Nigga, that shit. I've been wanting a video with this nigga. I've known him for 12 years and we still don't got a music video. I want to shoot Justin. As soon as I want to do a video with this nigga, I want to shoot Justin. This nigga was like, I ain't in video no more. Oh, yeah, nah, he wanted to shoot it to the song that I don't really like like that. No, I want you to do Justin. Let me shoot. Let me shoot Justin. If I get shoot, we shoot. I just dropped two. I just dropped two music videos hey, in the last listen, three listen, hours. Listen, listen. I saw. I haven't really been in rapper mode. I was like, I'm not. It's all good. Listen. I didn't even so if no. I get tapes, if I, I get tapes with somebody, I'm gonna shoot Justin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I want to know if people. Why those people that just said I'm one of those people? Like, I feel like my friends, like y'all fuck with me, repost my shit. I repost y'all shit all the time. Like, I'm one of those people. I love, I love y'all shit. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 I support you, but yeah, like nigga, it's still friendly competition. And also, I'm not a social media nigga. Like, I don't even got shit on my feet right now. I don't like being on the ground. I don't like being on Twitter like that. What I do like is creating. Niggas who feel some type of way about all oh, that you ain't got like, damn me, puppy, did that. But first off, okay, if that's the case, pay me, nigga. Make, like, oh, yeah. make me want to goddamn. I think I offered you that before, too, though. Yeah, but even if you offer me money. I'm still, I'm niggas still offer me money to repost them, and I'm like, but you also nigga, never really promote me. No, and one I thing, really no, myself. right, right, right. That's all I was about to you say. One thing I've noticed from noticing, like, knowing you personally, and this is on the music and like business tip, because like for the past few years we haven't, I hadn't created with him in years. Like, we both went separate ways from a lot of different shit that went on in our past and shit, and lived two totally different fucking lives. I wanted to be a rapper since I was like 10 years old. I had been writing music and doing a whole lot of fucking shit. And like, 
had shit where I was offered fucking deals and shit when I was like 17 that I didn't fucking want it and my mom didn't want me to fucking have it and shit was just like a fucking lot but but nah, like, when he was like blowing up and shit, and like touring and traveling and shit, doing everything that I love to do as a, like wanted to do as a kid, I was working in warehouses and shit like that, and kind of like went down the road, to, like I was in a serious relationship for like eight years and shit, and he always tell me like, yo, nah, it's, that ain't, it ain't it, it ain't it, it ain't it. But, besides and beyond all of that, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah. Yeah, how you live. yeah, 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 yeah. But nah, one thing I'm saying is like on the business tip, I even told you this, you really don't give too much of a fuck about like pushing your shit through like social media heavy for real, for real. Like you'll leave certain shit and complain or like not really even be like, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I mean, even Alex had a question about some shit, but he don't know. I'm not vegan, but I like my shit again. You know what I mean? So basically, what I hate doing is spamming fans. Like to me, that should be looking annoying as hell. Like check me out, you know, check this out. Like if I like your shit or I come across it, okay, cool. But it's like, nigga, I make music too. You make music. This is a business. We in competition. Don't get me wrong. Like we be bull, we be cool. But for the most part, niggas trying to use you as a tool, and. I'm at a point in my life where I'm not finna just got down. Hell no. I'm not gonna let this goddamn maneuver me just so they can get a little traction of buzz. Yeah, yeah. This, that, the third. Don't you know what I'm like, it's niggas out really. But you know, really everybody fuck. around you that fuck with you, deep down, fuck with you because they know who the fuck you are. Not saying that like everybody in this room who fuck with, obviously fuck with Taj, Fonny, whoever the fuck. Like, y'all know, like, okay. Y'all fuck with him personally because he's like, okay, he cool. He a cool person. But at the same time, you're fucking thousand band Fonny. You're Fonny Figueroa. I could Google you on my fucking phone. Anybody in this room can. It's shit. Motherfuckers know who you are. You do know that whenever people fuck with you, despite the fact that they might not come to you like, hey, bro, duh, 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 they also do know that it's like, you know what I'm saying? No, I understand that. That's cool, but it's misinformation too. Cause Google got them. First off, they got I mean, my, yeah, you. It's a they, lot. They, they, they got my goddamn uh, Park and Zan. Stupid. <laughs> you know, but basically, I'm not people who think I'm up or famous. I'm not at a point I want to be. I don't yeah, you you feel that way, way, but it's some motherfuckers that literally worship the fuck out of you. Yeah. And even me, motherfuckers don't really know me like that. But I also got motherfuckers who know me from the past that would do like wild shit and be on some wonder how fucking love. Like, bro. And guess what? You was the nigga who inspired me to do this shit. Yeah. So. Aww. Now what happened? That's real shit. Yeah. yeah. You and I. Yeah, yeah. And I feel between you and I. You making me who I am today, I making me want to drop videos. Yeah, 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 nah, it's like, just going like, fucking crazy. Like, y'all niggas is really the hardest niggas that really wanted me to do this shit. Don't get me wrong, niggas always say Lil Wayne and goddamn Gucci Jeezy. They are T.I., they are Drake, they are, but niggas who I actually know live in, came up with, like, in the trenches, yeah, yeah. mud, and, like, niggas, we was on the strip. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The shit was brazen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still brazen. Yeah. Even with Marco. Yeah. Don't even know what this nigga had. This nigga had the most potential out of any, but I was like, this nigga's gonna be a star. Then, God with this bitch. But that's, you hear what he's saying, right? That's how I personally feel with, like, you know, despite the whole friendly competition shit. Me as an artist, I grew up writing a lot of shit by myself in my fucking room. Like, not going to fucking school and shit a lot of days, just really just doing a lot of shit by myself. But I'm also an only fucking child. I never really had any other fucking competition. I had like seven other imaginary friends in my fucking head who I literally be in the room just talking to. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because I felt like so like fucking alone and shit like that. So whenever I make shit with my friends and shit like that, whenever I do some shit and my friends do relatable shit, I never look at it as friendly competition or fucking... You know what I'm saying? Bad competition. I'm just more so like, let's all uplift each other. You feel me? And with that being said, you a Gemini, I'm a Libra. The thing is, you always been your biggest worst enemy, just like yeah. me. Yeah. I compete against myself every day. I want to be better than I was yesterday. That's yeah. how I function. That's how I'm I the same way too. Shit. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm going to talk shit. I'll tell niggas, I'm going to kill you on this track. 
Oh yeah, no, of course. That's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want that energy. I want niggas to know like I'm really trying to like make that shit. So the last song we recorded, Jeremy Jones was like, Yo, I'm gonna make this shit happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
my life, my lifestyle is just a cautionary tale. I don't want yeah. to live like. Well, you know one thing. It's a warning. You know one thing. I say about you and like from all the from all the years of me knowing you and shit like that like even since you came back from LA and like we definitely hung out like a few years before you had even came back from LA like while you was who the fuck you are you know what I'm saying now and shit like that like you still came to train you came to my coach's gym and shit like that we trained and shit like that that was fucking tight you stuck to your word like yeah 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 Sean and Yelly even came and trained and shit like that yeah 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 <laughs> but nah, you regardless of whatever fucking and I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not fucking perfect. I, I did hella shit, hella shit. My did hella shit, hella shit. Hella shit. Hella shit. But don't indict the same. Okay, If anybody know, I know. <laughs> but nah, you always get your shit done and you always handle your responsibilities when it's all said and done. Like, you know what I'm saying? We was talking about this shit a while ago, like even like with like you getting your whole shit with your car in order and shit like that. Like and just every fucking thing since you came back. You feel me? So I definitely salute you on that Thank you. Oh yeah. I appreciate that. I just care, you know I care about people for real. I'm a fucked up individual. You just did the food drive. Yeah, and then I got an allegation after that. So, like, motherfucker. So, look, alright, so, alright, so. I got one last question for you. This is, we about to fuck around and wrap this shit up for real, for real, for real. For real, for real. But I gotta ask you because he's also coming on my show soon. And he's still one of my dear best friends. You feel me? Fucking um. Besides the shit with the allegation, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Different mom, different dad. Yeah, different family. Nah, this is real shit. This is definitely one of my fucking brothers. But nah, all right. So the shit with Casey, right? He, yeah, I'm, I'm interviewing Casey soon and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, y'all know we gotta bring that. This is the last question. Alex was like, you should say that one for last. I feel like that's going to throw off the vibe of the interview. I was going to ask it like right in the beginning, like the third question. But did you ever plan on paying him back or just like kind of like making amends and just being like, you know, covering that chapter in your past? You feel me? I felt with Casey, yeah. Like, what I did at that moment seemed fucked up, but it's just like, in my mindset, I was in a different vibe because what niggas don't know is he did some shit that made me even want to do what I did. You feel me? Like, but at the same time, I mean, it just gave me more principles and morals. And you know, like, he loved art and film how I love art and film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He done put me on a lot of, like, a lot of my favorite movies and shit. That yeah. introduced me to, like... Quentin Tarantino, the Pulp Fiction, all that, you yeah, know, yeah. so he, he even doing art for, uh, Netflix, like, yeah, like, yeah, like Midnight, uh, Gospel. Midnight Gospel, yeah, I was like, oh, this, this, this is Casey, yeah. you feel me, yeah. like, you know, he drove around, this, that, the third, yeah, 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 but it's also like, you know, we all hypocrites, we was all being hypocrites, cause it's like, <laughs> come on, now I got a question for you, did you fuck his bitch? <laughs> Was she not asking for it and denying it? Uh, she was doing that shit. And then it's like, I was like, I'm excluded, but it's like, I'm included. I'm like, bro. I was just trying to warn folks. I'm like, bro, you know your, your girlfriend's a slut. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just being, a, I'm like, yo, Celeste doing that thing bad. And it ain't just for you, it's for the game. Like, you know she from a little, yeah, yeah, little yeah, ass yeah, town and shit, like, she yeah. see niggas who got some motion, like, she throwing it back. And it wasn't, I mean, it ain't, it ain't nothing wrong with that, I'm just saying. Like, I mean, yeah, nah, it is what it is. But if I tell a nigga, it's the same, it's the same issue I got with Roland right now, like, yeah. Roland and Esco, they don't even fuck with me no more, just I because, know. like, with Roland, I told her, and this, with this, this was the nigga, my main producer, parking lot pimp with me and yeah, one. He don't fuck with me. Fuck. Ah! Sorry. He don't fuck with me no more just cause I was like, yo. 
I think your girl trying to fuck. Nah, I ain't even fucking. Is that what all that was over? Yeah, I'm like, bro. I'm this nigga bro, like came here to the, for the first time and the last time. And he had sushi. I just remember he had sushi. And niggas was fucked up. We was definitely fucked up in this bitch. I don't remember exactly what the fuck was going on. We was definitely fucked up. But like, you like bumped into him and his sushi was about to fall and shit. And then y'all just started like wrestling and shit. And then shit was about to get to that point. And I was like, yo, take it outside. I thought it was. But this is the thing, like, like, it's like, I fuck with niggas heavy. I want niggas to progress, even if I can't. Like, if I gotta love you from a distance, I still want you to win. But it's like all that sensitive ass shit. Like, I can't be around that. Cause first off, like, nigga, all that soft shit. You can't, you can't, you can't progress on that soft shit. Go on, nigga. We in the streets like concrete. I ain't on my side of wall shit. These niggas, like, if you really wanna go up, you gotta got down. Bury your feelings, be a man, suppress your shit. You definitely and got your that's what that's what being a man is. You gotta just take shit, deal with it, and move on. Don't nobody give a fuck about your feelings for real. Especially as a black man like me. Don't nobody give a fuck about what you got going on. We all got the same shit going on. Oh, you depressed? What? Oh, guess what? So is the whole world. Shit. What you need to do is goddamn make some make some shit. Yeah, pain. That's your best friend. Cause at least pain. I got a conspiracy fucking question. Cause this is a TTB conspiracy on the TTB museum page. The twelve bullet holes in the fucking car. Who the fuck tried to kill you? Who don't want to kill me? Oh my god. I'm fucking niggas, bitches. I'm getting money. I'm out here. I'm living. Niggas think I'm richer than I am. Did niggas really try to shoot at your car? At the car you was in, whoever car it was in, whoever car, whoever car. The mother like did, was it really 12 fucking bullet holes in the fucking car you was in that bitch and motherfucker tried to kill you? Yeah, I was trying to get my hand dead. You didn't mention none of that shit that day. Cause I didn't die. So fuck it. It would if niggas won't come for me, bro, niggas come for me every day. Look, let them come. I'm not going out like that. But at the same time, though, in the past, like, two months, well, we don't lost Virgil, we don't lost my golf, we don't lost my damn slam, all type, all type, like, and these niggas I fuck with, niggas that done DM, niggas that done talk to, niggas that done play my music, but, bro, yeah, sometimes niggas want you dead, and I ain't mad at them, because I done did the same thing, I don't want to lose <laughs> Look, and that karma catch up to you. Like, it is what it is. I'm not gonna go. Like, it is, it is what it is, bro. The karma will catch up to you. Yeah, it's niggas who want me dead. Niggas got balance in my head, but look, I'm still here. Because I'm a soul survivor. This ain't alright. <laughs>